I got cash on my mind and my mind on my sims. What about you? Yo, what is happening my friends? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hey, I'm Cher and I'm obsessed with finding weird ways to earn money in The Sims 4. If you've been here before, what's up? I hope you've been staying happy, healthy, and hydrated. Because you know, hydration is the key to success. Or at least that's what they say. And let's get to the point, shall we? We want to figure out all of the strange or weird ways you can earn money in The Sims 4. Let's shake it up a bit and only find ways with stuff packs. And yes, this is the second part to my first 12 weird ways to earn money in Sims 4. So if you have not seen that video you should go check it out. It'll be somewhere up there in the top right corner of the screen. There are so many ways to earn cash with the stuff packs so if I've missed your favorite method please let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to hit that like button, slap that subscribe, and smash your keyboard and write up a comment for me to read. All of the support helps me out so thank you to everyone in advance. I appreciate you. Let's begin with the latest stuff pack, Paranormal. If you have your lot trait set to the haunted house, then you'll be haunted by specters. These little apparitions will roam around your lot and will interact with your sims. If you want the specters to bring your sim gifts, then you'll want to attempt communication with them and try to have a conversation with them. This might take a few tries before you have a successful interaction. If the specter enjoys your sim's interaction, then they'll drop an item on the floor. They can drop items like wraith wax, which is used to make sacred candles, an unassuming jar of candy, or a piece of someone's soul. The best way to ensure they drop something for you would be to gift them something homemade. This could be a home-cooked meal, a knitted sweater, or a wooden horse. It doesn't matter what it is, it just needs to be homemade. Your chances at receiving a gift would be much higher now. Once they drop off your gift, then you can sell it to the oddity collector for some money. Let's talk just a wee bit more about a particular gift you might receive, Spectre Sips. These drinks might look mysterious and cool, and they might randomly boost a skill, but did you know you can sell the goblet after your sim is finished with their drink? You can do this by clicking on the empty cup and by selecting the option to sell to oddity collector. Next, we got Nifty Knitting, yeah. If you've got Nifty Knitting but you haven't been utilizing Plopsy, then you need to get on it. It does cost five simoleons to list an item on Plopsy though, but it's sort of like a you spend some money to earn some money type situation. You'll be notified when someone wants to buy your item and then you click on it through your inventory and ship it to the buyer. Once it's shipped, you'll receive the payment and then after a while, you'll receive a notification that the buyer has received the item and it'll include a review. Most of the time the review is kind of funny. This can actually get pretty crazy. You can earn more money from selling your items on Plopsy when compared to the more traditional ways, like selling a painting to a collector. The only downside of using Plopsy instead of other methods would be how long it can take for something to sell. The infamous My First Pet Stuff Pack actually gave players a new way of earning a bit of cash. Every once in a while, your pet rodent will travel away from home, and there's a chance they might bring back a postcard. Now, there are seven new postcards included in this pack to either add to your collection or for you to sell. The postcards are actually rare to collect, so it might take a few trips to bring back all seven of them. If your pet comes home with one, you'll be notified and the postcard will be found in your household inventory. There's also a chance your pet rodent might bring back space rocks. This can earn you a bit of cash as well, and you can sell that in your inventory. But catchy, I'm looking for something easier. Not a lot of work. Just something you can do around the house. Don't worry, I got you. If you have the laundry day stuff pack, you'll be able to search the laundry hampers within your household. You do this by clicking on the hamper and by selecting search pockets. Through this interaction, you'll find some mullions. This is a very easy method and you can do it with every single hamper you have in your house. So, you got a toddler, eh? Now the question is, how can you make money off that toddler? It's pretty simple actually. Host a toddler play date and achieve a gold medal. Once you've gotten to the gold medal level, you can cancel the play date or you can continue on with it. Whatever floats your boat. Then afterwards, check out your household inventory. You should have received a present. 
It'll probably be this jungle gym, which is fantastic because that can sell for quite a bit of simoleons. If you wanted to, you could even do playdates back to back to back. This is a simple way of making some bank. We just put the toddlers to work, so obviously we gotta put the kids to work as well. If you don't mind selling off your void critter cards, then this could be something for you to do. Pretty much, you get your child sim to search trash bins or frog spawners for the cards. Once you've found one, you can sell it off from your inventory. It's a very easy way to earn a little bit of money. There are two money-making methods from the Romantic Garden Stuff Pack. The first one is through the Wishing Well. Now, the initial cost of the Wishing Well is pretty high, but eventually you might be able to earn some money back from the well. Before you start wishing for anything, it's best if you make an offering to the well. The first option is 100 simoleons, which doesn't help. Just don't do this, okay? Just don't do this option. After that, we got the 1000 simoleon offer. This has a 50% chance of changing the well's mood, but it might not always be for the better. Lastly, we have the 5000 simoleon offer. This one will always change the wishing well's mood. That means you'll probably have a very successful wish. After you've made an offering, you'll be able to earn money from it. You do this by clicking the make a wish option and then wish for simoleons. You might succeed, you might not. I tried it with two sims who both gave 5,000 simoleons as their offering and the first one got denied. However, the second one got a whole lot of cash. You'll get roughly 15,000 simoleons, so that definitely is one way of making back the money from the well's purchase and then some. Just be careful playing around with the wishing well, it can kill your sim if you're unlucky. If your sim has the kleptomaniac trait, you can actually take money out of this fountain. There isn't really an option for you to do it, it just kind of happens naturally, so watch out for that. Lastly, you can sell your pumpkins. For the small price of 375 simoleons, you'll be able to buy a pumpkin carving station and you can start making some jack-o'-lanterns. It'll cost you another 25 simoleons for the pumpkin, by the way. Once your sim is done carving the pumpkin, place it in your inventory. From there, you can sell it for 140 simoleons. It'll take at least three jack-o'-lanterns for your sim to earn back the money they used to buy the carving table, but afterwards that's a pretty good and easy way of earning money. There are so many ways to earn money in The Sims, and a lot of them are pretty weird. If you want another video where I focus on game packs, let me know. Thank you for watching, I'm sending everyone good vibes and love. I'll talk to you in my next video, bye!